got a compressor to change here. This is a 10 ton water source heat pump in the ceiling. And we have one uh, five ton compressor bad, one of the compressors. Uh, pretty high up there. That unit is about 20 feet up. So we got a scaffolding here at the baker. Try to get it up there. Got the new compressor here. It's a. Uh, there we go. 54ZR 54K5ET. I want to give a little shout out to Steve Lab. I got this idea from him. He made a little kind of plumbing box. It's just cool. I don't have to keep throwing things in a bucket every time. So stay with me. I'm going to go up there and show you guys. Right there. Let's see if I can get up there. It's going to be a difficult one, you guys. It's not going to be easy. That's the guy with the cell. On uh, a payment service call, this thing was uh, running for about 10 minutes and uh, tripping the breaker. I took some readings and uh, um, we just, you know, the ampers just keep building up and just cutting this breaker out. Once I isolated it, it's been running ever since. So, this is the bad boy we got to replace. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little difficult up here. Oh, heat pump, like I said before. Got a strainer there, PT gauges. And I'm pretty high up, fellas. Well, guys, this uh, circuit was already recovered previously. Uh, that's why you guys don't see a recovery machine here. So it's, uh, it's empty, there's no, uh, no refrigerator in the line. So I just gotta get this guy out, unsweat it out, and sweat this. It's just a little, let me figure out how I'm gonna bring this sucker down. What's in my way is this grid right here. If this thing was in here, it'd be a lot easier. But you know, we have to do what we have to do. We gotta, managed to work around it. I'm gonna try to see if I can. So guys, I got you guys as close as possible. I kind of zip tied my phone <laughs> to get this going. So, give you a little light. Yeah, Martin, I zip tied my phone, kid. They need a little light. Okay. Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, there we go. There goes nothing. Yo, fire on the top. That's the discharge line. Now I'll go to the suction. Suction line, I'm just gonna wrap that off. This switch right here, low pressure switch. They, they like to you know, melt away if you don't try to keep them cool. So let me just do that. So that's gonna stay cool. I mean, even if they melt away, I can always put a new one on. No big deal. Shit happens, right? Like Forrest Gump once said, shit happens.
Right, Martin? Wow, what's funny guys is that this compressor has never been changed and uh, this thing wasn't even in all the way. Say what Martin? No, not, uh, later. Yeah, this thing wasn't even in all the way. That's insane. That's sick. Anyway. So we got that out of the way. I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll uh, come back, unscrew this sucker. And uh, I might just need to, um, I might need to cut this pipe on the bottom there so that uh, I can pull this compressor out because it's in my way. Or I can try to bend it away. We'll see what happens. We'll leave that away. Suckers down. Here goes the new one. You know, they're not that heavy, just really bad position. Right. I remember they used to give you the little fittings before. They would give you a street elbow and a, you know, and a reducer on the discharge line. Now they don't do that. And I don't have a crankcase either. Alright. The new one. It's got a new new tag. Different colors, I guess. Same exact compressor. Model models. Yeah, this guy right here was just over amping. To the point where it's uh, tripping the breaker. transport and disposal so the oil doesn't spill everywhere all right guys so i was able to put this guy in it wasn't too difficult i've done many of these you know i, I look skinny but pretty strong i could bench 225 six times 
four sets, Martin. There is. It's like a still bench 225, six times, four sets. I'm just saying. I can still do it, bro. I haven't been to the gym for about over two years. But uh, I had a car accident. I will. I broke my elbow, so stopped going. Lost a lot of weight. But uh, I got to get back in shape. I will, little by little. My elbow is still... What's going to probably stop me from lifting 225 will probably be my elbow. I would have to build my elbow, my tricep. What makes the elbow work is your tri muscle. So I got to get that... Get that going before I can start benching. So let me get this guy going. I'm going to put this guy back in there. Put this guy back in here. Braise it. Maybe I'll use a piece of chewing gum instead of braising it. Let me know what's the best chewing gum. Trident. <laughs> Whatever.